Derek, you've had such good success inside the division. Does it come maybe from just seeing them twice a year? Um, I think us is just us just playing good. Um, uh, knowing our opponent, uh, you know, uh, keying in and focusing throughout the week, and going out there executing um, each and every play. So I think it's just you know us just being locked in, and we're playing uh, opponents in our division. Are you as proud of your accomplishments Sunday in the passing game as much as anything? Get a career high, six catches, 55 yards. We were up for Sunday. It's time to move on from Sunday. But it was a great win, and we're ready for this week. You guys, I guess, like, heading into last week, talked so much about having a kind of a fighter's mentality. How important now is it to kind of sustain that and, and to not let up? Uh, yeah, you definitely want to keep that um, same intensity carry over to this week um, and um, stay focused on, on the things we need to get better at. And uh, you know, continue to work um, as the week goes on, leading to Sunday. And you know, just that's just the mindset: is just focus and getting better every day. And when the time comes to Sunday, get ready to play. You guys Atlanta. finished that game on the offensive line, who weren't expected to be there when the season started. How much of a testament to what plug and play on the offensive line for you to be able to to run like you are behind whoever plugs in on that group? Yeah, I mean, those guys did a great job, and um, you know, they came in and. Um, did their job very well. They prepare like it um, throughout the week. These guys work hard over there on the offensive line, and um, wh whoever's up, you know, I, I trust them, and know, and I know they're going to do, uh, do a great job by the way they prepare, how they work over there. So, Darius Leonard, it seems like anytime he gets, he'll praise you. He calls you a defensive end, run, uh, playing running back. Do you have like like a I'm not going to say a rivalry, but like is he one of those guys? Where you're like, okay, yeah, this is a week where I'm really going to like I'm, I'm going to get up for the, for this matchup. Yeah, I mean he's he's a great player. Um, you know, he can hammer at the ball. He's always around the ball. His heart and soul of their defense, um, the captain of their defense. And, um, you know, me and him are, are really cool. Got a lot of respect uh, for one another. And I uh, just, just love the way he plays the game. So, yeah, it's definitely one of those games you got to, you know, tighten your chin strap and uh, get ready for a four-quarter battle. When you, when you face the Colts, what are some of the things you know going in? The game's going to be like this? Or how, how, is there any style that they play that, that always is consistent? Yeah, they always play very hard um, in all four quarters. Um, you know, like Coach say, they kind of you know similar to us in, in, in their mentality. You know, it's always a, a a tough battle. Always comes down to the wire. You know, they they're a great team. They have great coaches over there and uh, great players that play hard throughout those. Still think you you catch some uh, DBs by surprise with your speed, Derek. It seems like even after all these years, sometimes DBs are taking bad angles when you hit that second level. Do you think there's still a little element of, of surprise with the, with the speed that you have? Um, I, I really don't know. Um, I just go out there and try to get, get to the end zone and, and score and, you know, try to outrun a DB or whoever is beside me to get to the end zone. There's a lot of fast players in this league, so I try to hit it another gear when I get in the open field. Did you recognize Caleb Wagner's, uh, you know, performance? Uh, what would you think about what he was able to do in breaking your record and, and maybe what kind of inspiration is he, just what he's – and how he's been able to have success despite, you know, having to deal with, uh, you know, some d different physical yeah. situations. Yeah, I think it's uh, incredible. I thought it was really cool. Um, uh, I got to uh, talk to him a little bit on um, on Instagram, and hopefully, hopefully he breaks some more. But you know, that's 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 really cool. Definitely an inspiration to me, and I'm sure he's an inspiration to uh, his team and everybody over there in that community. So you know, it's definitely uh, cool to see, and um, hopefully, you know, I, I can you know do something for him um, in these upcoming weeks. But yeah, you know, I, I I love to see it. So. Do you think oh, that what record did, would ever be broken? I mean, you could run for five. Would you have five twenty-one? You figure that record? Five, like five hundred two. Yeah. Like that. You ever think that would be broken? Uh, yeah. I mean, Florida boys are different, so I knew somebody would come around and uh, break it uh, eventually. Um, what's what's the or, or do you enjoy maybe the impact one of your big runs had? You know, like the the one you had against Seattle. Um, what what impact does that have on your teammates on the sideline, so forth? Do you enjoy? You know, seeing what it does for for those guys. Oh uh, yeah, just happy to uh, to make a play. You know, and especially in that situation, um, to be able to uh, respond very quickly, to, uh, to to give us a chance. And you know, you know, they did a great job blocking. So of course they're gonna be happy. And um, of course I'm happy because I'm able to get in the end zone. By the way, you know, they blocking uh, did their job. So ours appreciative of, of of one another, and we definitely get up when there's a a big 
a big a big touchdown, especially one of those low ones. Eric, for that kid who um, who broke your record, you, you mentioned you were on the uh, on on the phone with him. I, I guess what was maybe your your message to him? You you said that you were kind of inspired by him. Is there anything that you kind of said to him in in particular? Oh yeah, I just told him to uh, keep going, um, keep working hard, uh, keep God first, uh, break some more records, and um, like I said, I've been trying to talk to him, see what um, see what I can do for him. This is a, a a cool situation. He was out running guys. Guys weren't touching him. This is uh, very cool. And, you know, records are meant to be broken. I hope he breaks some more. When you're in a good rhythm, from the ball on a series, do you feel momentum building that a big play that you can break one is coming pretty soon? Or do you just kind of go with the flow and, and just let it go where it happens? I really just focus on finishing runs. And then when that play comes, you know, make it. And um, that's always been my focus. But, you know, um, when those guys up front are finishing forward. You know, you see the momentum start to carry and, you know, us, you know, get, getting in drives and moving down the field. When you're in a situation like you were Sunday or any day where you get that many carries, I, what prepares you, I guess, to be ready for, for such a big load week in and week out? Yeah, just uh, taking care of your body uh, week in and week out and doing everything you need to do to make sure your body's prepared to uh, be ready for for, uh, for Sunday throughout the week and go out there and play the high level. How, was, how good was it to see uh, Julio Jones just get going? Uh, last Sunday he made some, some great catches there from Ryan. It continues to build the trust there between those two. Yeah, I mean, um, you, you you see the highlights, you know, through his years uh, at Atlanta and, you know, you hear about it when you're at Alabama. It was very nice and cool to see him in his element um, out there in Seattle last Sunday. You're talking about taking care of your body. Tannehill was saying yesterday, you'll see a couple days after a big game, you're walking around like you're not even sore. I'm sure that's not the case, but, you know, being able to take care of your body the way you do, how much does that prepare you for, you know, the amount of carries you get throughout the season? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at hiding it, but no. Nah. <laughs> but no, nah, yeah, I just uh, stick to the things that help my body um, be prepared uh, each and every week and to continue to do those things my uh, recovery process because um, this is a long season. You got to make sure you take care of your body. That's the most important part so you can come out here and play at a high level week after week. Speaking of high school, your, your stats were floating around this week. 1,397 carries in your career, 462 as a senior. Did anybody else touch the ball? Were there any other plays? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I just, you know, I love making plays. Um, Love having the ball in my hand, and you know, whenever it was, just just try to go out there and make plays as much as I can. Which the stats show that. So, <laughs> yeah, I got the ball a lot in high school.